Hi everyone, it's Winston back with another origami video. Today we'll be making an animal origami and the model is called the Panting Dog. So it's a really cute origami which actually has two parts to it. So yeah, there's actually two parts to this origami. And yeah, you get this really cute dog at the end. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all, like usual, get a square piece of origami paper and what we're going to do first is make a shawl base. To do that, we simply just fold the piece of paper in half and yeah, this is it. This is our shawl base. Easy base today, which is great. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is taking one of your corners we're gonna f not fold it but crease it ever so slightly down and then see so we've got a small crease here and then what we're going to do is make another small crease up to here from the corner I'm gonna fold up and then make a another small crease like that so we've got two creases here and the next thing what you want to do is simply fold this whole top half down to the crease here. So, like so. And then get, fold it down as evenly as possible. Here is the hand. and then what you're going to want to do next is open the flap and as you open the flap you want to squash the point down to the centre line. So what I mean is open like so and then you're going to push this down and try and get this part to obviously stay down and then push the top down like this and get it all aligned along the centre as best you can. I'm going to actually turn my model around so I can do this. So, this is it. And then what you want to do is fold these two flaps to the centre line. And then the last part, what you want to do is just fold this little tail up so there's a crease there. Um, I don't think there's really, yeah. So where we were before, just if you open this flap as a guide, you can fold it up to about there. Um, be, yeah, probably about correct. It doesn't have to be entirely accurate. So yep, that is the body done. Awesome, so now we can put the body to one side as the next thing we're going to fold is the head, the main part of the dog. Um, so I'm just taking the other piece of origami paper and what I'm first going to do is fold a fish base. So first we want to fold this in half. Well, not in half, di like diagonally in half. And then we want to open it up and fold either side to the centre. Trying to do it as evenly as I possibly can.
Mm -hmm. And then the next thing what you're going to want to do is fold these top edges to the centre as well. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is open it back up and we're going to want to fold the bottom point here up to the top. Then unfold it. Then next thing you're going to want to do is to open this. So grabbing one side here and we're just going to fold it down. Yeah. And then do the same to the other side. We're just going to open and then follow that crease along and fold it down And that is our fish base. So then the next thing we want to do once we have our fish base is to fold these up just to crease them. And then we're going to want to fold this model like down. So either side, fold it down like so. And then taking this uh, flap, we're going to fold it up to the crease here. And then once we've done that, what we want to do is, this is going to be a bit difficult, but we want to, as we open this up, Kind of just find the shape of trying to get uh, diagonal like triangles at the side, and we're just gonna squash it down on this fold we just made. So, like so, like this, and try to get it as even <laughs> as possible. Yep, so then that's down and then we can just fold this kind of uh, down slightly like so and then we're just going to the part that's if you have any part that's revealing here just kind of fold it back in to kind of hide it like that just press down like so like that and then what you want to do is you're going to do uh, some type of 
up, down, um, fold on here. Up, down folds probably was not the best way to just describe that actually. But you're going to do some uh, mountain valley folds at the top. So you're going to want to do it so it's like underneath this flap. So fold down and then fold back down like so. So that you've just got a bit peeking out like this, try to get it as even as possible, so yeah, that's how it looks underneath, then fold that back down to high because we don't need to see it, and I think you can kind of tell now this is supposed to be the tongue, so obviously we want to fold this um, pointed part underneath the model, uh, however long you want your tongue, depends on how far back you fold it and then once you've got that we want to do a mountain fold on these side corners which is basically folding it back taking this point here as guide and these lines here to get evenly folded down Flipping it back to the front after that. Try and see if it's even. <laughs> yep. And then afterwards what you want to do is... I said to actually fold that back in. But you're going to fold these two little flaps here like out. Like about this much. Because you want to enough space to draw the eyes on your model and you're just gonna press down like so like that and again try to get even on both sides following the lines that you've already created as a guide it's getting it evenly folded nice and then the next part what you're going to do is you're going to want to fold these ears down so what you simply need to do is yeah fold it like this and kind of squash it as you do so yeah about this much i guess um actually maybe a bit more That's one side and just repeat on the other side of the model. nice and then yeah that is your dog's head i'm just gonna draw some eyeballs onto it a bonus clip I'm actually making slight adjustments at the end so I'm bringing the ears like further down and then I brought this part kind of further down and the tongue slightly back more behind there because it seemed to have a really long face my little doggy for some reason
yeah, I think that's more like it, right? Besides the really oddly drawn eyes I did. <laughs> so, yeah, and then you just insert it, the legs. Oh, yeah, like that. And that is the model, guys. A really cute doggy with the annoying little arrow there from the uh, instructions on the other sheets. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, write a comment down below what you thought about this video. Like this video so I know you enjoyed this type of content. Subscribe for more videos like this and other stuff I post, such as vlogs. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.